What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have a double threat across the tropics. Tropical Depression 4 has formed this morning, and we have Tropical Storm Brett bearing down on the Lesser Antilles. The, the, you see that very mean outflow that is approaching St. Lucia, Dominica, Martinique, those areas right there. The main core of it is right there. It is still a 70-mile-per-hour tropical storm. It is expected to bring strong winds and heavy rains to portions of the islands later today and tonight. Pressure has actually gone up to 999 millibars. Tropical storm force winds now extend 115 miles from the center. So that's the, late, the latest we have on that. A hurricane watch is still in effect for St. Lucia. Tropical storm warnings for Dominica, St. Lucia, and Martinique are in effect right now. However, I'm looking at the data that the hurricane hunters are providing, and I think we've blown past the, the window of opportunity for this thing to become uh, pretty, mu a pr pretty much a serious hurricane or anything like that. It's still a 70-mile-per-hour tropical storm, and I'm impressed at how much it fought back against the shear and all that, but I do not see any more strengthening as that shear is getting worse and worse by the hour. But irregardless, it's still going to bring major impacts to the Lesser Antilles, and everyone still needs to keep an eye out for that. And we're going to go ahead and uh, use that to segue to our next topic, which is Tropical Depression 4 over here. We're going to go ahead and talk about that real quickly. We'll read the public advisory. Currently, winds are 35 miles per hour. The pressure is 1,007 millibars. Its location is 11.3 degrees north, 42.9 degrees west, a few hundred miles uh, east of Tropical Storm Brett right now. It is moving west-northwest at uh, or eight, 285 degrees at 15 miles per hour. Once again, so that's what we have going on. It is expected to move north of the Lesser Antilles and miss it entirely. It is expected to strengthen into a tropical storm with peak intensity at around 60 miles per hour. And I, honestly, I'm looking at that. Uh, even 60 to me seems a bit a bit much, but primarily because of the wind shear and all that. But I'm going to go with the NHC on this one, say this could go up to 60. However, looking at the wind shear that this is going to be facing afterward, it's not going to be very good. It's around 30 to 40 knots. Where it's at right now, it's in a pocket of low wind shear and moist air. However, as it's moving more uh, to the north and through that wind shear, it's going to get torn apart quite easily right there. What's going to be fueling it, though, are the global sea temperatures, which are at 28 plus degrees Celsius right here. Actually, to around 28, 29 degrees Celsius, as I'm just refreshing the page. The OHC, it is currently around that, uh, it's currently around that uh, 50 to 75 ocean heat content as of right now. And it could potentially use that to become a tropical storm and then a strong tropical storm. But as the waters start to cool and the OHC starts to decrease, we're going to start, uh, we're going to essentially start seeing some weakening by the time this approaches the Lesser Antilles right here. We're going to go ahead and show you some track models and then get to the intensity. Track models have this thing moving pretty much northwest, north of the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico, and then moving out to sea if it even lasts that long. Right here, the AVNI has this moving further to the east. Bermuda is uh, could potentially get some thunderstorms off of this if that shear doesn't tear it completely apart. If we go ahead and take a look at the intensity runs, they are a bit interesting. Majority of them have it around 60 mile per hour tropical storm. We do have a few of them having it strengthened to a hurricane at this time, including the H Wharf, the DSHP, the AVNI, all those runs right there. So that is something interesting to take a look at right there. We're going to go ahead and show you some model runs. We're going to go ahead and start with the HMON with Tropical Depression 4, and we're going to move on from there. The HMON, as of this, this is organizing, developing strengthens into a tropical storm in the next 48 hours. However, it doesn't really get very much uh, very, very much and do anything. So, that's what we're looking at right there. It has it around 1007 millibars, maybe like 50 miles per hour, but that's pretty much what the HMON has. It's being a bit more conservative this time around. We're going to go ahead and show you the HAFS runs right here for not for Brett's rather, but for Tropical Depression 4. And you can see this thing's organizing, developing, strengthens into a tropical storm right here. You can see a few 990s in there. Those are probably outliers. It gets down to about 1,004, 1,001, 72, uh, yeah, 72 hours out. Potentially, That's potentially a 50-mile-per-hour tropical storm before it moves into very heavy shear 
and starts weakening considerably. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the B run of this right here. We're going to go ahead and show you that. You see this organizing start trying to develop. It does hope potentially get up to tropical storm strength, but it's being quite conservative primarily due to the wind shear that's going on in that area right there. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the h wharf for Tropical Depression 4. The h wharf is the outlier, so please keep that in mind. You see this organizing developing, strengthening into a tropical storm and a hurricane potentially in the next 48 hours right there. And it has that doing qu quite quickly before its shear starts tearing it apart. It starts weakening. And, th and then... It's that, then by five days out, it's just it does approach the Lesser Antilles. It is a little closer than usual are, but just it's so disorganized and it's weakened so much. It's not going to cause very many impacts right there. So that's the latest we have right there. If you are about to be impacted by Tropical Storm Brett, get to shelter, start pre uh, continue uh, preparations, finalize them in the next 30 minutes or so. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and end this video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.